Good morning and welcome to my studio. I'm going to talk about conditioning clay. I don't know about all of you, but it gets pretty difficult to condition clay in the winter. And today is no exception. It's quite cold. So my usual work surface is freezing, which means my hands are freezing. I have my glass tile, I have my stone tiles, I have my porcelain tiles that I work on, and they're all cold, which means the clay is pretty hard as a rock, brittle, all that goes along with it. I also have clay that I have pre-warmed. Okay, so here is my warm clay and I'm going to show you this clay is hard as a rock this clay is already warm and I don't know if you can see but it crushes easy quite easy it's already bordering on being soft enough to start sculpting and this is just for warm, from warming it up the conditioning is going to go really quick it's going to be easier on my hands and I'm going to tell you how I do it. These are a couple of things that I've learned over the years that helped me a lot. And I thought maybe I would pass that on for beginners since I find it very helpful. Um, one of the things that I do, um, I take my clay and I cut about, um, I don't know, quarter inch to half inch slabs. And I put them into a Ziploc bag, kind of like this. And I will then take that bag and put it in my pants pocket, or you can tuck it into your belt so it's against your skin. Your body heat, um, your body is 98.5 degrees all the time, which is the perfect temperature for warming and conditioning your clay, which is why when you manipulate it with your hands, the clay sinks the, hand out of, the heat out of your hands. And... Um, warms up the clay as you're conditioning it. If you, like me, have very cold hands this time of year, um, that becomes difficult. So one of the other things that I do on top of warming, pre-warming the clay is I have, I have a couple pieces of tile here that I use all the time. Um, but in the winter, they're especially useful. Um, there, I'll, there's another use for them too that I'll show you near the end. Uh, this one is just from Home Depot. It's a piece of granite tile. I think it was about, um, it might have been three dollars. And then this is a um, larger porcelain tile. Looks like marble, but it's porcelain. As you can see on the back. Uh, what I do with this bigger tile in the winter, especially. I do with this is I take my heating pad like this and I put it on the table underneath of the tile and I let the heating pad actually warm up the tile and the tile is nice and heavy so it keeps it flat nice big surface to work on and what it does is instead of this tile or my glass surface that I sculpt on regularly, instead of it making my hands cold, which makes conditioning and sculpting more difficult um, for me, this warms the tile, which then warms my hand, and um, that makes winter sculpting a lot better. The other use for these things and something I do as well I actually have two or three of these heating pads now because I find them very useful I will take my clay while I'm sitting here sculpting so I don't have to keep it against my skin the whole time I take and I put it into the fold of the heating pad and I set the heating pad on either low or medium heat depending on how fast I think I'm going to go from conditioning to um, sculpting. If I'm going to go immediately, I use low heat. That way it doesn't overwarm. If I'm going to condition a bunch and let it sit a little bit, I'll put it on medium heat 
and then I'll tuck it back in the bag and tuck it back into the um, into the heating pad because if I'm making a large piece and I'm going to use a lot of clay it stays as warm as if it had been in my hands the whole time. Now specifically the uh, temperature of your heating pad on low is 110 degrees Fahrenheit. On medium it's 138 degrees Fahrenheit. On high it's 160 degrees Fahrenheit which is so below the um, the cure temperature of your clay but I found that on high it gets soft and it can get sticky and that's no good for sculpting. Um, so stick with medium or low and if you have warm hands stick with low. In the summertime I use the low setting or I don't use it at all. It depends on um, how things are going with my sculpting at the moment. Then there is the other end of the spectrum which is your clay is um, too soft. Everyone who has sculpted for a while has had occasions where the head just gets so warm from being in your hand while you're sculpting um, that you end up crushing the back of your sculpt and misshaping your head shape while you're working on the front because it heats up in your hand. And while you can put your sculpt on a sculpting stick and use that, sometimes even then you just, you really feel like you need more control and holding it helps. If you start having that problem where it starts getting too warm and your sculpt just keeps squishing in your hands, one thing that I use this other tile and the granite seems to help more with it than the the porcelain. I will take the granite which seems to always be cold, just always cold, and I'll set my piece on it and then I take a glass bowl and put it over top and sit it aside. This can go in the refrigerator if you want it to, if it's really hot where you're working and you need to have this handy. Um, you can put your glass or your, uh, your stone tile in the refrigerator, get it good and cold, bring it out to your work surface with your, um, with your dish. And this works because one, it's portable. You can have it wherever you're working. And two, it kind of radiates that cold, but it's dry cold, unlike the refrigerator, which can be moist. And you're going to find that that head cools back down and is ready to work with again in under five minutes. Whereas just sitting aside can take 15, 20 or more. And if you're on a roll and you're sculpting away, you don't want to have to keep stopping to go and retrieve your piece from the refrigerator. You can just grab your tile. If you have enough work surface, you can just keep it set up. Normally I have mine over there, but I brought it all in frame for the video. Um, so yeah, that was, that was my, my tip for the day. So in the course of recording this video, I had a conversation with an artist friend who told me it, great idea. She said she does not have a heating pad, but she had another great idea that I'm going to share with you. Um, she has a baby wipe warmer. It's a small box with a lid that you put a pack of baby wipes into. And I looked it up and it should be safe because according to the internet, it only gets up to approximately 90 degrees, which will work out perfectly. Your skin temperature for most people is about 86 degrees. Your core temperature, 98.5. Um, so 90 is fine. Uh, it's not as good as the heat that comes off of your heating pad as far as getting the clay really soft and ready to work with. So that was it. Just a short, quick tip on conditioning clay. If you warm the clay first, 
you're going to get a much better, quicker result with conditioning your clay. It's especially good if you're working with really firm clay. So you spend, you'll find you spend a little less time kneading when the clay is already warm because part of conditioning is actually warming it up and you're warming it up with your body heat. So this kind of pre-establishes that body heat. Well, I hope that's helpful for you. And if you find this video was useful, please give it a like. And if you want to see other videos, tutorials, and just quick tips, you can uh, subscribe to my channel and stop back anytime. You can also find me on uh, Facebook. There'll be links below where you can come and visit this site's uh, Facebook page uh, and my personal art site where you can come and see what I've been working on and what's coming up next. Thanks. Have a good day.